Hello hikers, welcome to African Hiker. I'm Anita and today we are going on an inner city hike walk with Max and Polly at the Wilds Nature Reserve. Max and Polly are elderly dogs from Border Collie Rescue. They are currently enjoying their retirement in their forever home. This trail was perfect for them because we could easily adapt the routes depending on their energy levels or the paths intertwine. Oh, guess what? I'm taking part in the 947 cycle challenge. It's called Ride Joburg now. Border Collie Rescue is the charity that I'm going to be riding for and Max, Polly and I would really appreciate your help in raising 4,000 Rand for the cause. The funds raised will help cover the operating costs of Border Collie Rescue. There are still so many dogs who haven't yet found their forever home. You can make a donation of any amount on Give and Gain. The link is in the description. Thank you so much. We really, really appreciate it. We're going up in the stairs. We're going up in the stairs with dogs. The wilds has a bad reputation. It was once abandoned and overgrown, making it unsafe. But artist James Delaney saw its potential and gathered volunteers to help rejuvenate the park. They have done a wonderful job. It is absolutely beautiful here. A great place to take your dogs and kids for an adventurous walk. Oh, look at his tail. Look at that happy, happy tail. The Wilds is on Hewton Drive, near St. John's College. We only walked on the west side of the nature reserve. If the dogs had been younger and if Bianca had had more energy, we would have gone to the east as well. Here's some water. There's a little doggy thing here. There. Come here, water. Okay. Polly. Look at that flower here. You can take a dog to water, but you can't make him drink. Throughout the reserve, you will see animal sculptures by James Delaney, as well as mosaics and other decorative features. The trails are paved with stones from the surroundings, and they are mostly under a canopy of trees. Our little hike was barely two kilometers. We spent a lot of time looking at the views, snacking, and chilling on the lawn. Many people were here simply to enjoy a Saturday picnic with their family. Are you having a good time, Polly? Say yes, Polly. Polly's ready to go. She's like, no banana break. Sundial, yeah. Okay, let's go to Sundial. We went to the Sundial at the very top of the hill. The dogs and the kid did not appreciate this climb. <laughs> now this way, Polly, come. Polly's like, I don't want to do stairs. Come, Polly. This way. Come this way. Come. Man, Polly thought those were real. I only count the sunny hours. And look at the time. It is correct. What are you saying, Bianca? <laughs> She's done with the hike. <laughs> the Wilds is one of the nicest parks in Johannesburg. There's a whole community involved with it. If you join their Facebook group, you'll see that they have weekly yoga sessions on the giraffe lawn. And there's a group that hikes there regularly. So if you don't have someone to go with, just join them. Calling this a hike is a bit of a stretch. It's a hilly walk, but a great place for beginners and kids and dogs and just all round wholesome, fun outdoor stuff. <laughs> Little flower girl. Thank you so much for watching and wish me luck for my race. Please, please, please make a donation if you can. Every little bit counts. Goodbye. Much, much, much a shoulder. I think let's go back. My energy. Your energy low.